former Deputy Minister for Press and Public Affairs at the Ministry of Information, Cultural Affairs and Tourism. I'm encouraging you to share the video. We have some important issues to discuss here. Uh, in the coming days, I will be lecturing on a number of issues, providing facts as they may seem. And I want you to tune in and join me every evening for real sound politics, not the politics we play and fool around with. I'm telling you again, you know me, my record is there. Okay, when I said this is going to happen, it's going to happen. We hold debates, people leave from there and talk Tabata. But you know, at the end of the day, I always win. When I tell you Jack is not going to come out of this case, when I tell you this case is not cartoon, it's not a case, it's a cartoon, it is. I listened tonight to my fellow panelists on Spoon, and I must admit, I'm disappointed. And that's why I'm holding this, because I'm yet to provide you with some basic facts concerning that case that was fumbled on the network tonight because people felt they got friends they want to protect but they want to accuse us and tonight i think i need to share the facts it's what i do it's what i do i am I, I, I don't joke you know people will come and say oh they come to market this but i'm going to draw a contrast for you tonight so that you see the hypocrisy at the highest level Join me. Invite your friends. We're about to rule. It's not going to be easy. But you know what? Once it's far gone, I'll tell you exactly what it is. <laughs> made me sick to my stomach. I was relaxed and I had no intention to come on. But I believe I should set the record straight. And it's not only going to be set straight tonight, by 12 midday tomorrow, Eastern time, which will be about like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the evening uh, stuff. I will do my best. I love football. I love watching soccer. It's my game, you know. And so when the African Cup of Nation, when the good team's playing, I probably will delay. But trust me, I'm going to do a podcast tomorrow, providing the facts and laying them to where they should be laid. For me, say what you want to say about me. If I tell you the case against Fonati Kofa in Jack, it ain't Jack. 
because I've done my research, because I know the facts, because this is what I did in school. So I know. I don't have to be a lawyer. But 38 years of your life, dedicated strictly to Liberian politics, cannot be trampled on by some kid or some uh, guy behind a microphone in Monrovia or somebody having a second thought about what to say. That's not a joking thing. My record is clear. Like a lady said to me last week, Fagon, you are two for two. In 2017, we learned about the political cartel. And you did not rest until the king down. In 2023, you introduced the Southeastern Company and you gave us the senator's playbook. And indeed, when you started and said, I see an old man coming, buckle your paw, buckle your paw. We saw the old man. And when you said it was a train, pom -pom, the train came along and it rescued us. I am two for two. So when I tell you the case against Kumis, it's not a case but a cartoon. Giving you Article 21H as my reliance, that nobody shall be forced to present evidence against his or herself. It means I have done my work. Don't argue. When I tell you that the case against Fonati, go up, you come down. It's no case, it's a cartoon. And as that Dillon said, well, I think it, it, it violates, so we probably need to scrap the law. We need to repeal it. Because Fagon had said, in clear terms, Article 2, the framers of the Constitution were cognizant that the people in that small house were going to make stupid laws. So the people who made the Constitution say, you know what? <laughs> we got to tell them, no law, no law found to be inconsistent with this Constitution to the extent of the inconsistency, that law shall be void. I'm telling my colleagues on the panel that the law that they passed in 2022 was inconsistent with the Constitution because Article 27 of the Constitution says that the person who was a citizen before coming into a law, into being, sorry, of this Constitution, Shall we mean a citizen? No if, no end, no but, no period. They say you shall remain a citizen. You know who a citizen is? One that has fundamental rights. That law was passed 2022. This constitution says any law the people face that will be inconsistent with it. I'm telling you, you're arguing. I came here to talk about Munafaha and their deals. The duping of the young man called Kaka. And I will give you implicit explanation tonight. And how my colleagues fumble and hypocritically presenting themselves today. Look at them today. But let me continue on this note. Let me say to you, when you go to school and you started nursing, salute. You become a medical doctor, salute. You become an economist, salute. You become a banker, a financial expert, a mechanic, a capital, salute. You become a shoemaker, salute. But when a person goes to school and study political science and you want to discuss politics with them, know that you are on their turf. They're not in the hospital with you. They're not talking about 500 cc. They're not talking about 15 milliliter or two tablespoons. They're talking about politics. They went to school two years. They left on that again, went to school, finished four years. They are involved actively every day. Little jealousy will make y'all want to denigrate some people. But you can win in one day. Now one day you can win one debate. It's because you don't know you don't know. Stop forcing yourself to know. Stop forcing yourself to know. Okay? Now why did I say that? They had the right to go to court. But was it politically expedient to do so? 
You let the party folks come here. You say you hate when I tell you this. Political expediency. You went to a speakership position. You started immediately after Joseph Baca won the speakership. That's when you started looking for a speaker. When Joseph Baca won the presidency, sorry. You started looking for a speaker. For Nati Kofa, who had been there six years, had his eye on the speakership. You saw them making flower all the time. What's your problem? How come you didn't know that if you ran for speakership and you lost, somebody can still nominate you as deputy speaker? How come you did not know? You had 31 votes. The CDC won the speakership. You sat on there and you brought ability. Are you serious? You think the old guys will go there? Huh? You should have maintained your 31 votes. Go off a deputy speakership. Negotiate. The people that voted for Kufonati will say, you know what I mean? Since CDC got a speakership, let you pay the deputy speakership. But no, you traded it. We got records to prove that someone up pick up the phone. We call, we call, we call. Nobody can pick up. You think we went to school for nothing? No, we did not. Then you bring the law in. We said no. Legally, you're correct for going to court. But you will not win. And politically, it is not expedient to do so. Why? Do not open a front line with the guys in the legislature. Because if you do, they will fight you. They are more than you. So they got leverage. Somebody listen to me. And they say, you know what? Let's withdraw our case with reservation. And they did. They withdrew their case. You move for that thing from there, who will go there? Tomo Fala. That is CCDC. Our own United Party and alliances, they left us and voted for the people. What kind of fight you won't fight? My mom always said to me, if you cannot beat them, join them. But because you got few people talking, when you want to say something, they talk. They be loud. Hey! Let's go back to the Senate. Can United Party as a single party tell me that they got more than three senators that have been elected? United Party and CDC on the one hand. Who got more senators? The are senators. Who got more senators? Because of that, I won't be very specific. United Party Let's just put senators. Excuse me, just one minute. Twenty twenty three. I I Sorry, I just want to get a list. Please. Just one. United Party got three. Three senators. CDC got nine. Nine. CPP got three. Reconstruction and democracy got two. All I do party have one. The guy passed away. Okay. The largest group in the Senate are independents. Next to them, CDC. Then you come to a unity party. You have to be careful. In a house where there are 30 senators, you only got three. 27 are for you. 27 is not for you. So at the end of the day, 
when you talk about political expediency, it's like chess. You got to read a game. It is not based on sentiments. It is not based on, oh, I yesterday when I put Eugene Fagon, we'll go there, we get on his skin. When you say market, then you can get on his skin. No, you don't get on my skin that way. I like fairness. And that will bring me to my, 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 my topic tonight. I like fairness. You pick on people, pick on people. You want to destroy people, but you got to be careful. You got to be careful. Out of 30 senators, there are three sanctions senators in the House. Three. Senator Prince Johnson, Senator Nathaniel Fallow McGill, Senator Bill Twawe. 27 more remaining. 27 more remaining. All of the 27, take on CDC 3. I mean, or, or, or United Party 3. What's left? So again, what is expedient is to forge a partnership. Work with them while doing the right thing for the Liberian people. But not be picking a stunt, which, you know, blew my mind last night. And a lot of people called me and I know what they said to me. And here is what I want to bring to your attention. Last night, please permit me tonight to speak to your conscience as members of the intelligentsia. Meaning, intellectually, we are sound. I'm sorry. Yes, you're correct. Five sanctioned senators. Sorry, my mind, my mind got blank just now. I'm sorry, five. Nukwe. Abache, Prince Johnson, uh, 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 Bill Twawe, Fallon McGill, five senators sanctioned. Ballots, 25. Let's look at the five. Out of the five, take on Prince Johnson, take on Nukwe. The other three are seditions again. Why do you want to open a front line? That you will not be able to maintain. And that's why when they think they're fighting me, you're not fighting me. Go ask the teachers who fought me. Go ask them. I don't surrender. And if I decide to fight you, you really don't want my battle. But I'm speaking with political expediency. It's the same thing. I rushed to CDC. Let's not do this. Let's not do this. See my point. See my point. You can't see it. You are so blind. Because you want to impress. Because you want to show off. Because you think you. you the Nigerian people can say. You think you dare wise. No you are not wise. You are not wise. Because you don't even know what happening around you. You have no clue. But last night. I was sitting on the set. The show was over. You are members of the intelligentsia. You are the most highly functional, mentally sound people in the Republic. My friend and brother Stanton Witherspoon decided to play an audio. Audio. A purported audio with the voice of McGill. On that audio, there is no reception. Meaning, the other person, nothing from them. There's no one person speaking as if to say he is holding a monologue all by himself he talking to spirit spirit can't talk spirit ain't got name spirit ain't got nothing an audio speaking about a road that he Miguel said he constructed for the people but his head went down meaning he got broke so he said I told you, let me go look for money. I told the people, let me go look for money. That crime I commit, that party I did. Right now, Joseph Parker is elected. Let him go fill in the road. Anybody can speak like that. And he said to whoever they said was on the other side, and I spoke in the country for you to be putting your mouth on me. You saw what happened in the country. But all the things you said about me, I never responded. 
where he works. The point I want to raise tonight, they could not call the name of the road they men talk about or where it was located. Nobody knew who the journalist was. Nobody knew that today what radio station it was. Who the journalist was. What was the name of the road? Where was the road located? Why there was no other person talking on the other side? You see me, Fangon? Say what you want. I don't need a government job to survive. I need to survive to have a government job. Somebody is not listening to me. I don't need a government job to survive. I need to survive to have a government job. Number two, I do not look for a job. Because of what I know, I always have a job. The only difference is my job don't pay me. The goodness and kindness of people pays me. When George Bia fired me, did I not have a job? I had the biggest job in the Republic. And I ran a campaign and kicked him behind out. Just like I ran a campaign and brought him in. Who in Ladura did not know about the political cartel? Nobody should tell me about job. I'm not looking for a job. I have a job. My job will always be available until that kingdom comes. I will have a job because I have a gift. I went to school and perfected my gift and nobody can take it from me. Nobody. You have brought the best and the best. I have beaten them every time. I'm two for two. In 2017, Mr. Costa was on JMB side. Mr. Patrick Hona was on JMB side. Everybody that was on JMB side was on JMB side. But I was on George Weah side. What happened? What was the end of the story? We defeated them. We defeated them. And I led the campaign on social media, on radio, on television, everywhere. In 2023, in 2017, Eugene Nangba was the Minister of Information. Ledger Wu Reni was the Director General, LBS. Manipaka Dumor and Kanye Bala left the CDC, joined the Liberty Party, transitioned on the other side. Did I not flock the crap out of all of them? I beat them. But when they come came for the job, they made Raja Ureni, LBS. They told Eugene Nangbe Poyin, Oa Mahe, Kanye Bala, LSCC. Fair enough. Where was I? Stay my cool. But no Liberian can take away from me what I did for CDC for three and a half years in the middle. Everything they brought, they threw it, I handled it. And I'm not boasting. People know my record. When they pluck me out, the information arm of the CDC collapsed. And they never sustained themselves until I came and bother with them. When I bother with them again, what did I see? Eugene Nangbe was there. Ledger Hureni was there. In fact, Kanye Bala there. Bani Parker there. Everybody join them. When I'm convinced about Sony, I stand by myself. But what happened? They even brought in the professional players to join them. They look all on the social media. They collected uh, Gibson Jeru. Uh, what they call him? Ah, oh, God. The other guy that sits in Michigan. What a Susan Bangi, whoever. Then they look around. They brought in Kef Hassan, Tomalin George, Dr. P. Bali, Henry Costa. They brought in their professionals. 
Everybody come. Why Marco Gilmer? Sheriff under the Palawa horse. They brought everybody down. First thing I did to them, I told them there was an old man coming. Bokoyok Bo. The old man had taken on a train. The rescue train. Before they realized the man, I hung around the neck, the southeastern cabal. That was when you heard me saying, President Southeast, Speaker of Southeast, Tabitha Speaker of Southeast, I hung it around the neck. They could not leave. Before they realized, I introduced the Senator's playbook. The Senator's playbook converged on them, strangulated them. They had no place to go. I tied them to the reports of the State Department. Drug dealing. Ritualistic killings. Corruption. Extrajudicial killings. Etc. They could not survive. You got to understand who you're dealing with. You got to understand who you're dealing with. Did they survive? With all the professionals... I laid them down again. In every single debate, they could not sustain. Tonight, when I am convinced about something, I don't let you take it away from me. And I believe my network, my network is going dangerously. Many of you who watched the show last night, tell me what you saw. Oh, it was like a trap. I don't, I'm not afraid of trying. I can walk right inside if I'm convinced. I walk there and I say, you know what? Don't do this to my girl. You brought audio here. Who's the journalist? What road are they talking about? What's the radio station? Oh, my girl. You want to kill people? Everybody on that network last night had a negative opinion. But tonight... The God that I serve. The reason why I smile and I can brag. Because when I pray, I feel his presence. And when he tells me to move, I move. Tonight they brought Munan Fahar. One that have cast the president inside Asa. One that has a rap sheet. I say a rap sheet. From America to Liberia. Munan was in jail when Charles Taylor left. She won't argue that. They say Leon Mensa men told brother Charles Taylor. They don't know what they were doing before Charles Taylor collected them. Is this Munan first rodeo? Is this our second rodeo? Is this Munan Fahad third rodeo? Is this Munan Fahad Une case? Nonsense. But I stood back today and I watched them. They play their own video. Unlike Nathaniel Fallow, my girl video was just audio. They didn't know the journalists. They didn't know the road. They didn't know the radio station. They didn't know what had happened. Nothing. One side. All of them open up. Ba, 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 Tonight, they have audio. They have video. They have human beings. They have facts. They have settings. They have voices. They had witnesses. They had everything. Each one of them opened their mouth and said, it will be better we talk to Munan first. Did you want to talk to Maggie last night? No. No. The moment I saw the video today, it was in the temple of justice. She was arrested at Thomas Donan funeral. Brought to the court. When they arrest you, they usually carry you to the police station. At the police station, they investigate you. I will not be wasting my time this time. Y'all say anything y'all want to say about me. Y'all say if I go run away. But when you have knowledge, that's what I posted last night. May know thyself. Because sometimes it takes common sense. Just common sense. Just put your common sense together. When you are arrested, you are taken to a police station. Preliminary investigation. 
if for any reason they will charge you, they will arrest you, they will read your rights to you, they will put you in jail, they will charge you, they will forward you to court. But when they, when they go looking for you, it means they have a rate of arrest for you. And when they grab you, you go straight to the court. What were they thinking tonight? Everybody refused because they said it was one story. Even though they saw video, they heard audio, they listened to the voices, they heard what was in everything. They came back today, they said, oh, well, now we can talk, and this and that. This is the kind of thing that pisses me off. You do to John, do to Mary. But when you got your interest, it blinds your eye. Tonight, look at the comments people were making about the bias. So then, God will be so good to bring the Mr. Leon Mensah man, her long-term partner that have been in every this and that with her, to come and expose his own ignorance. I've been an investment banker. I've worked with J.P. Morgan for J.P. Morgan. Shut the hell up. Your lies so damn much. You this top CEO of a financial story. You come and tell us about an oil tanker. You will talk to the kids, but not men like me. I'm a bastion of hope and a chest of information. That same individual talk individuals to the port. I said, Leon Mensa, if he dare me, I will dare him tomorrow with all the facts. Further. He went and told the guys at the port that he wanted to transport cargo along the coast. And that he was in country to do an assessment. And he needed consultants. And one of the consultants was a personal friend of mine. Now was, is, is a personal friend of mine. We call law. Oh, he watching. He watching right now. Oh, you pass, special. And then where we meet each other. Who need to or oh, no? No, 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 I take it back. Giovanni Godo, no. Couple of other guys, no. And then where we bought up. Oh, you pass, special. He took it from the refugee camp years ago. May his soul rest in peace. And because I'm lecturing you tonight, I must bring this small story in. He was a decent old man. He dry all the dry fish at that time that were coming to America. His name, everybody would call him Pache. But his name was Che F. Weir. He was not hiding it. He was gay. Those back, way back in the day, people were afraid. No, no, no. He was open about it. It was not hidden. But when I arrived on the camp, I did not know. I did not know. So not like now. I was I was the six footer, played basketball. You see my palm, you know, you can look in my palm and know. So we go practice. We had a day called Dusty. We go practice. They body building, the arms all BB. The old man saw me. The old man said, oh, I hear you talking politics. I can really enjoy you. Tomorrow I'm cooking collard greens. We pig feed everything. I'm inviting you to come eat. So that particular friend of mine, I jumped behind me. I can make a cocoa. We're we'll going there tomorrow after church. I said, Me, my man, I have too much church, baby. I'll be relaxing after party. I go in, take a shower, relax, find something to eat, chill. He said, Oh, my man, I can't collect you. Listen and listen carefully. We went to a place on the camp in Ghana called Blue Doe. In the evening around six, I forgot about the old man. So we chilling. I want a little beer. At that time, it was economical to drink gin, Casaprico gin. So we'll be sipping on our gin, some poor drinking beer, sitting. And so the old man came from behind me and grabbed me like he grabbed someone you truly love. Okay? He grabbed me from the back. But when he... 
I told myself, what? And I don't want to say it on the air. As soon as I did that, you know, the old man said, oh, you pass, spit up. Oh, my God. Oh, my friends. They started laughing because they knew and I did not know. Now know they have gone there, collected the food from the old man, said they were bringing the food to me, and when we get you eating, we'll go to Pluto to chill. But the when they ate the food, and the only king with me to Pluto, the, the papa get a smutty, they brought me to Pluto too. We said I was drinking. So all the old men think now, all the poor now eat my food, and they chilling, let me go there. So he came from the back and helped me. And I didn't know the deal. I just exploded. And I had a woman say, Oh, you pants, spiss up. They laughed up. <laughs> they laughed up open. He took my personal friend on this consultancy that they wanted to bring in a cargo ship that was going to run from along the coast to the port of Greenville. The guys then, when they did the work for him, after doing all the work, when they were coming to the close of the work, the three-day assessment, only to find out this man never even had article of incorporation. He wanted pictures taken. He wanted that thing to care back to his junk and what have you. They said, oh, but just pay us because we're not going to take this. He ran away. He was gone. He left my friends there hanging on this consultancy. Tonight, when he picked up the phone and called, he informed the Liberian people that he was financial this, he wanted to do an investment in an oil tanker. Liberians, let me tell you something. Go and Google the average price of, quote-unquote, an oil tanker. It in a chair and play, the least you can pay that 50 million. You, when you call it all tanker according to you, and business didn't work out. You all put a man on the business that 20,000. You number for all tanker? To even register the small, small talk boat then. Per year at 50,000. Go to Maritime. They carry him to Maritime. They call the prices then for the small, small boat then, the small, small vessel then. 10,000 per year. You hear me? They went and Kale Kaka money, 20,000. Then he bring his cell on TV to Nike. talking about, uh, we got the art. You know what for art thing, God? Are you out of your mind? And you telling people his business going wrong? And people sitting on a set and acting like people negotiated? Nonsense. Is that their first rodeo? Did you check their background and their records? Don't make me talk nonsense here today. Huh? So I'm sitting there. I know the whole story. So I'm blocking. When it comes to the other person, uh, we wait when we hear from Muna. And Muna watching the show. Muna was quite your car on spoon. She was watching the show. When we hear from Muna, we'll be able to talk. To call the other person. Well, you know, we've seen everything, but uh, it will be good to hear from Muna. Did you? Oh, can you? You you saw everything. You saw they arrested her. In her black, everything. I have the videos. Tomorrow we'll be showing it. They took the man. Then they said they would pay the man. The other man ran away. The other one left there. Took her 1,004 pay and 1,005 pay. They've been looking for her. She running all around, dashing. That's not her first rodeo. You know what it means for you to take twenty thousand dollars from somebody, call soon in the morning in Liberia, telling them you had a boat, an oil tanker, like an oil tanker. All of your go to your Google. Say average price of an oil tanker. I beg you, your go there. Are you? You think, first of all, our police people are not stupid. Our police are not stupid people. 
When they say you dupe somebody, they know. We carry the paper. What paper? Where is the oil tanker? Because you say you got the oil tanker, you took it to Morocco. Where is the oil tanker? It's a sad story. But these are the very people how all kind of nonsense on Spoon Network to talk about Joseph Bokai. The same woman. Charles Taylor left her in jail because they were impersonating him. Her boyfriend is just like Charles Taylor. Tall, bright. And they arrested them. Now come and talk about it. Let's talk about her record. Back in the day, I was one of the first people to re release Muna for her public record. Go look it up. It's not hitting in Maryland. Why? When y'all come and sit on the set, when I saw my whoa, 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 whoa. So now they show you video. Eyewitnesses, video, everything. Muna said in the video, Muna said talking, everything. Discussing that on spoon, you say no. You got to hear from Muna. Why do you want to hear from Muna again? The one you heard from Muna in the video, is not enough? The one you saw, is not enough? Thank you, Ambassador Merrick. Because if I'm going to say it, people are going to say this and that. 60.7 million. Someone can run up to TV for 500 million. You go take chicken change. Eat the man money. For nothing. For nothing. Then the other man ran. Then you in Morovia. Then people calling me. But you know how much I not pay for that one money? Every time the woman will come and say, oh, business went back, we pay. Please help me, we give us money. All I want pay, 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 we tire. But you can't pay the person money. You dupe them. Where is the boat? You told a man boat. Tonight you told the Liberian people, oil tanker. We're looking like you're junk. You saw be standing in front of me and talking that thing. So I can show you how people can treat BM. We look like a junk. You know how much for oil tanker? You went there, assessment with my friends then. You told them, cargo ship. Cargo boat. That's why you told them. That's why you told them. You know? And those of you who say, oh, we realize spoon were bias. If all of you are perfect, especially the Lisa Half woman, Lisa House, if you only have one boyfriend, then you can open your mouth here. But how many boyfriends have you been with? So I I'm asking you, because you know what? Nobody is perfect. So when these errors are made, it's our duty to correct it. And what happened tonight was a disgrace. Because yesterday, it was Magil's audio. There was no role mention. No location, no journalist, no radio station, nothing, nothing. No other voice. But tonight, we saw audio and video. We saw eyewitnesses. We heard Muna talk. We heard the man in the way Alaji Gan talk. We heard the woman talk. We saw everything. Discuss it. Everybody said, well, you know, I don't want to go there until we hear from Muna. And uh, at the end of the day now, after they heard the explanation, they concluded that it was business gone bad. You know what it means when you talk about business gone bad? You think about political people stupid? If you and myself go into business and I have AYA, the business that work on, I didn't steal from you. It's a civil case. Came into court. So you want to tell our political people stupid? To arrest somebody and he carry them to the police station, they carry them straight and deliver them under the jurisdiction of the court. Come on, man. We need to be careful. We need to be careful. We can't be selective 
in how we deal with the issues. Because the person are our friend, so we cover up for them. You can't cover up more than nothing. They have a long rack sheet. If you cover the one today, you can't cover the other one in Maryland. You cover the one in Maryland without covering the one in Chancellor Town. You cover the one in Chancellor Town without covering the one in right now. The, the rap sheet is long. The monkey will not change a blind. Then they ask the question. Stentor asked the question tonight on the show. The guy said, Oh, I'm in the United States. Stentor said, But then why? The day arrest Muna. Because if you say you the investor, you do that, do that. Why did they arrest Muna? And what was his response? Muna was the one who facilitated the deal. Oh, really? You left her in Poon. We have been in exile long. We know everything. You left her in Poon. And what I meant you to do is to make sure the issue of knee exit Republican on her. So she don't leave the bellwind of the Republic to go nowhere whatsoever. It's a sad thing. Very sad thing tonight. And I felt I needed to speak about it. Because I know how I felt on the network. They wanted to make it look like, oh, anything concerning Maggie, you will respond. No. When I did it to Edwin Snow, everybody heard my, my voice on the air. I said, I'm Eugene Fagon, and I stand for justice. And I will always be that person. You will not change me. Don't come and play an audio. When they ask you where the road, you can't show the road. Where is it located? You can't show it. When did this thing happen? You don't know the time. Who was the journalist? You don't know her name. What radio station? You can't tell me. But why no other voice? You can't say. You just won't play that small clip. And the worst thing all of them had to say about that man last night. Let me tell you something if you don't know. Even the devil in hell has a friend. And everybody in jail has families and friends. Even when Stanton was stepped on, I walk in with him. You think I don't have character? You think I don't have integrity? But when the other people were talking about integrity, I put my integrity down because I saw what he was looking at. And after he pleaded guilty in the middle of an election, I saw the Liberian people and I looked at him and I saw his dream. He wanted a free country. You think I couldn't have walked away? Miguel is sanctioned. Stanton has pleaded guilty. Miguel got yet to go to court. Stanton has been convicted already and will be serving time. Is he not my friend? Is he not my friend? I didn't throw him away. So why should I throw my gay away? Because he's sanctioned? Liberians. What is good for the goose is good for the gander. Be careful. Be careful how you treat people. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Treat everybody fair. I look at my unity party people. When I post, they go and misinterpret and talk nonsense. I don't fight for people and move from behind them. I didn't tell unity party I wanted a job. No. I'm just a jovial guy. I love to joke. I be you. So I can't laugh at you? When I go laugh at seditions, my United Party people come. But what are they talking? He like, still won't be sedition. I resigned from the party. What's your problem? Oh, he began for Nati Kofa. Because he said for Nati Kofa, like a body. No. I'm teaching you sense. Take it. Who won it now? I won you. Oh, the man was Joe Kumis. I never spoken to me. Who won? I won. Oh, you going to you let party you're looking for a job. You will come back, job. We are who won? I won. So tell me. Tell me now. If I cannot walk away from Stanton, why should I walk away from McGill? 
if I did not walk away from Stanton and have not walked away from him today, I will never walk away from McGill. My friendship is not based on a CZ. My respect for my friends is not based on the outcome of a case. Everybody makes mistakes. How many of you here know that during the campaign, I went to jail for eight hours? For nothing anybody could explain to me. Nothing that made sense. Does that make me a criminal? Does that make me a criminal? It doesn't make me a criminal. We should be around when these people make mistakes. To counsel them and say you have made your mistake. Don't do it again. To be around them. To encourage them. That there is another day. For Nati Kofa. Went to jail for two and a half years. In this country America. Who is he today? The third highest man in the country. Liberians. Stop. Stop. And to some of you in the UP. Who think you can get under my skin. That you can fuss with me. And say derogatory things to me. Demeaning things. It will never make me hate Joe Barker. Because he's not the one doing it to me. But let me warn you. If you act like George we are. You will end up like Jefferson Koji. But you didn't hear me. If you act like George Weir, you will end up like Jefferson Koji. George Weir was ungrateful. And you will end up posting online. Mary is the mother of Jesus Christ. And Jesus is a capital son. You will forget he's the son of God. Use your hair. Use your hair. Use your head. The more you keep together, the stronger you are. If you feel you have arrived, that Jah the CDC thought they had arrived. They forgot that it took a coalition to create them. Where are they today? You came on the backs of men and women. You want to act like you have arrived? Watch yourself. Watch yourself. You've not arrived. You've not arrived. That's why I told you today, go and look at the Senate sheet. Go in the House of Representatives and look. You don't get plenty of children, you want John witchcraft? Don't do it. You got to eat you. You know why? Because you only got two children. After your two children finish, they will eat you. Because when they go for the terror, it will be you. You will not have nothing to say they will eat you. So I came here tonight to tell my friends on Spoon you cannot be selective. Maggie Ba from audio. But Muna is good for audio, video, eyewitness account, everything. Muna is good. Then you want the world to look at me. Like, oh, I'm defending a criminal. No. He is not a criminal until he's found guilty by a court of competent jurisdiction. Even my friend who has been found guilty, convicted, and sentenced. I've not abandoned him. Every day we talk. My friendship is not for CZ. My friendship is not based on how good you are. Jesus Christ said, and I conclude, I came not into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through me might be saved. I will judge nobody. I will condemn nobody. 
and my friends will be my friends in good times and in bad times, not sometimes. I respectfully submit. Maybe you didn't hear me. My friends will be my friends in good times and in bad times, not sometimes. Thank you. this to you the Liberian people God first I am alive today because Nathaniel McGill I repeat God first the second is McGill I always tell you this story and you'll take it for joke when I was poisoned and left to die and the president had issued an executive order that no one should leave the country, none of his official, without permission from his office. I was dying. Magill looked at me and said, Fagon, I leave tomorrow for the U.S., but you must leave today. He did not ask me whether I wanted to or not. He picked up his phone and I thought he was calling some doctor or something. He said, Anna, call. Fagon is not well. Fagon, go and get treatment. Pick up his phone. Get Fagon on the next available flight out of here. My face was black. My eye was turning green. Anna Cork called back and said the flight was full. The only flight available was the one the day after. My guest said no. Either today or tomorrow, they must do something to put Fagon on the flight. Fagon must go. Fagon, go and pack your things. Go treat yourself. You're looking bad off. I went for my little bag. And I came, they said the next day. They did everything to put me on that flight. You don't know my story. At the airport, I was arrested. My immigration officers. And told I could not leave the country because the president had given that order. My girl again called. They said, you better release Fagon. Let Fagon go. You don't know my, I don't want to go into details. But friendship is not for a season. It's not when you feel comfortable or convenient. No. Many of you are associates. You're not friends. You're only there when it's sweet. And you are dancing. And singing, find a friend like me. But when the trouble comes, you are gone. Gone for good. I'm not that friend. And I will never be that friend. I will stand with you. But again, when many of you call me and say, thank you for standing with, with Stanton, what do you be thinking? That I will walk away from McGill? I should have been dead by now. God first. McGill second. Ask Anako Lawson my story before you talk. I know him. On the day that they were announcing that he was in Firestone stuffing Balor, I woke him up and Stanton knows this story to be true. Ask him. May God bless us all. <laughs>